Hi, Jeff Carter here, West Central Montana Avalanche Center. Today, we're in the Rattlesnake. Uh, we're at about 7,600 feet on a northeast aspect, and we're seeing what's happening with the snowpack. We found that our temperatures have dropped considerably uh, since the last two days. We're down to about 15 degrees Fahrenheit here, and we have freezing temperatures all the way to lower elevations. The snow's freezing up well, and we're not finding any moist snow throughout this whole snowpack. Everything has uh, dried back out, and that new snow's bonded pretty well. In this area, we've found a pretty deep snowpack and uh, improving conditions um, with a couple of layers of concern still. So at the top here, here's our rain crust from the other day, six to eight inches down, and we're actually finding really good bonding on this. We're not seeing any movement of the new snow on top of that. Uh, no storm slab uh, seem to be reactive in this area right now. There are some wind slabs that are wanting to kick off on this upper elevation just below Rizaline, those steeper wind-loaded pockets. You could definitely trigger something in there. Within our snowpack, we've had two failures. One is down here under our new snow from last week. ACCP 23. So we've got a pretty good um, slab of some pretty stiff snow sitting on top of old buried surface ore. These have fallen over, but they're still a reactive layer. And if you found a spot to kick this off on steeper terrain, you'd be into um, a hard slab avalanche that could be pretty destructive. Down below that, even deeper, way down here in our snowpack, uh, is another layer of buried surface ore. This one's fallen over as well. It's harder to get going, get um, triggered. And it's far enough down in the snowpack that in areas like this, it'll be hard for a, a skier or rider or snowmobiler to trigger that. However, if you found a thin spot, that's the sort of area that could propagate out and cause a uh, larger slide to go. That would be very destructive. Um, with the structure we have here, I'd say stick into lower angle slopes. You really want to be sure of not triggering anything. Sticking to low 30s or below 30 degrees is going to help you stay safe. Skiing right safe.